Yo, what is going on guys? I am bringing you the top defenseman for under 5,000 pucks in NHL 15, obviously. And the first one we're going to go, he's on Carolina, he's a right defenseman. He is 85 overall, he was pretty good last year in NHL 14, but he definitely did get a pretty good boost. I'm not sure exactly how much better he got this year, but in terms of how fast he actually is and how good of a defenseman he is. I mean, stat-wise, you would look at him and you'd be like, okay, he looks average everywhere, he doesn't really look too special, but he's a pretty fast defenseman who's pretty agile, and overall, I think he's good. You would probably get him for two or three K, maybe even a little bit less, so he's probably one of the cheaper ones we're gonna be showing you. This next one's an 86 overall on the Hawks. He does not look that great, but defensively, he is very good, 87 defense, 88, no, 87 checking, 88 defense. He is very, very good. He's a pretty big defenseman. He you could probably get for about 1,000 pucks. Defensemen are definitely a bit harder than forwards. There's a ton of forwards I missed out on, like Grabner and stuff like that, but defensemen are definitely a bit harder. This next one is a very, this was one of the best ones. Tyson Berry is very, very good this year. Very, very fast. Very, very good. 85 overall. He got, I think, a two or three overall boost from last year. A very good defenseman, but you're going to be spending probably a minimum of 2.5K on him. But he's another right D, and he's on Colorado Avalanche. But in my opinion, he's definitely worth the 3,000 pucks. As well as he has some boosts if you guys are into boosting your players. So you can get like a two or three plus five alls on him. The next one's an 86 overall, who was pretty good for, I don't know how many NHL games, maybe two or three years so far. Wisniewski's always been a really good defenseman in my opinion. This one's probably one of the most expensive ones here at probably costing you about 3.5 to 4k. He has two training in him and he's pretty good again another right defenseman but I do enjoy him. He's pretty fast and he's just overall a good defenseman. He's not one of the tallest guys though so if you're into checking and like a huge defenseman he's not the one you probably want to go for. This next one's just a very very fast and he kind of seems like I don't know, I guess he's, he, yeah, he has 88 hands, so obviously he's good, but like, if you're into someone with like a defenseman with really good hands, like good deking and stuff like that, Goligoski's definitely the one you want to go to, he's a pretty good shot as well, he's not the biggest guy, but he's very fast, and he kind of feels like a forward on defense, but he's pretty, he's in position most of the time, and he's got some pretty good poke checks, so I definitely recommend him, he's also like, probably a 1 to 2,000 pucks, this next one I have not tried, but I've heard really good things about him, Christian Ehrhoff, I heard he was really good, I know he was good last year, so... I'm going to go with your guys' word that he's really good as well this year. He has really good uh, offensive stats. And then we're also going to stay in the Penguins. And we're going to look at Ole Mata. I have not tried him out either, but I heard good things about him. He has five training in him, so you could really boost him good. But Ole Mata was really good again last year. And assuming he's even better this year, he got a pretty big boost. So Erhoff and Mata on the Penguins on right D again. I think they're going to be really good. So I would definitely recommend them. And the last one on the Capitals is Matt Niskanen, was on the Penguins, would have had a hat trick of players in the Penguins, but he's on the Capitals now. He you could probably get for 2.5 to 3,000 pucks, but he is very, very good, very, very fast. He's got good defense and good skating. Those are his best two categories, and that's probably what you want in a defenseman. Unless you're all into that hitting life, then there are some other bigger players, but I could maybe make a best checking or best hitting forwards to get for cheap if you guys want to see that make sure you leave a like and also who do you who are your guys best defensemen or favorite defensemen for pretty cheap and last question what type of videos do you want me to make next i'm not sure if i want to do goalie because i feel like goalie is just all random but if you guys enjoy this video please leave a like and i'll see you guys next time